All right, enough. We gotta fix the squeak. <laughs> it only took two seconds of your time, Mike. Why haven't you done this earlier, Mike? That's right, welcome back to another video on the Autoblog YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, you probably kind of wondering what that was about, but for years, when we opening this door, starting videos, <laughs> that door had been squeaking and finally took care of it. And we got a good one in store for you today. We are indeed going to talk about money in just a minute here. Before we do that, quick little M5 update. That box right over there are the first modifications for the Beamer. The Beamer's coming back tomorrow. I'm going to pick it up at Blackout Tinting. They are done with it. It's gotten PPF and a ceramic coating. So before we jump into today's video here, I got two more little announcements to make. One, it's actually my birthday today. I don't usually talk about that on the channel, uh, but I figured I would do it today. It is my 41st birthday. Yes, I'm probably the oldest automotive vlogger on YouTube. <laughs> Secondly, we have a sponsor for today's video and it's my good friends at Movement Watches, MBMT. They reached out to me and they wanted to sponsor today's video because it is indeed my birthday. And today, they're actually launching a new collection. It's called the Ever Scroll Collection with two new lines of watches. And my new favorite is the Carbon Gray from the Element Chrono Collection. Check this out. I mean, it's not made in carbon fiber, but it looks awesome. And from the Element Collection, I picked the Nitrous Blue. This one obviously looks a little different from the Carbon Gray. It's a classier design. We got a, a blue background. We got a leather strap. Now, when it comes to watches, uh, I've mentioned this a million times if you follow the channel already. I like them. They look good. Uh, they tell time, but that's about it. Now, I spend a lot of money on my cars, trucks, you know, the Beamer and, and all that stuff, but I don't really like spending a lot of money on a watch, which is why I pick a company like Movement because their watches look classy. They're great quality, but you don't pay the price that you normally would pay for a watch like this. As subscribers of this channel, you save 15% when you use the link in the description and you pick up a watch for yourself, your wife, your loved one, your boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, brother, aunt, you get the point. They also have jewelry for women. They have sunglasses for men and women, not just watches. So uh, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description, pick something up and save 15% off your whole order. All right, so with those good news out of the way, let's talk about the topic in today's video. Now, I've done these type of videos on my channel before. You know this if you follow it on a regular basis. Now, usually uh, I talk about a specific video on my channel that did particularly well, and then I kind of share you know, the revenue that I made off of that specific video. What I've never talked about, though, is uh, what I've made as a whole on my channel from the day that I started it in uh, June sometime 2014 up to this point today. So I've gotten 134 million views all in all on my channel since I started it. And I'm gonna show you today exactly how much YouTube revenue, ad revenue that is, I've earned from those 134 million views. Now to do that, we're gonna jump back in the house with the non-squeaking door and up to the office. I know it's kind of messy here. We're uh, actually redoing the basement. We're going to make this whole thing a gym. So I bought like a new TV and stuff. We're going to put that up on the wall. We got a little, some fire looking thing that my wife bought. So don't mind the mess, okay? All right, let's step into my office here. Hmm. Which I don't really show all that often. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just an office that my wife decorated. Of course, she spends time in here as well. Otherwise, it'd be a whole lot more messy if it was just my responsibility. Check this out. A mini-me. <laughs> Something my wife got me. I think it's pretty cool. It's supposed to be the old AMG and stuff there. We have my silver play button. Very awesome. I'm waiting for that gold play button eventually as well. And here we have my uh, computer. It's a MacBook Pro i7. I use Final Cut Pro to edit and we have an awesome backdrop here of uh, the F12 that was taken by my good friend Alex aka Automotive on Instagram. He takes amazing photos. Definitely go follow him if you're 
into this type of stuff. But yeah, here we go. Let's talk about some money and my full ad revenue earnings on YouTube from the day that I started my channel and up to this point. And I wanna add that every time I make a video like this, it's never to try to be like, oh, special little me here or bragging or whatever. Because like I said, I'm, 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 I'm humbled by, you know, what I'm able to do with YouTube and the life I live and, you know, living my passion and being able to make money doing so. I just want to show, you know, what's possible. And if I'm able to inspire anyone, like if it's a fellow YouTuber that's, you know, growing their channel, or if it's someone that's just wanting to chase their dreams and reach a goal or whatever, you know, that's what I want to do uh, with this video. And when you see the number, we're, we're getting to it soon, I promise. I'm not trying to sit here and waste time, but it's kind of leading up to why I'm doing this video. But when you see the uh, actual number that I've made from 2014 up to today in 2019, uh, I mean, a lot of people are going to think like, wow, because I do. But uh, there are going to be a lot of other channels that are going to be like, <laughs> cool story, bro. Mike, we actually make that per month. So, you know, I mean, there's a lot of bigger channels than mine. I mean, in the automotive YouTube sphere or whatever, I guess I'm like a medium-sized channel. There's a lot of bigger channels and, of course, a lot of smaller channels. Uh, this is, you know, the kind of income that I've gotten to to this point. So I just wanted to say that before we jump into uh, the actual numbers here. All right, so here we are on my channel, and I thought that before I show you the, the full ad revenue earnings through the time of my channel, I thought we'd do a quick little update here because I've covered... Uh, a couple videos previously and the first one was what happens if you push the button while driving and this is my most viewed video ever and it's the first video where I covered kind of like you know YouTube earnings and stuff like that so if we can see here I uploaded December 20th 2016 and uh, YouTube analytics is currently showing to September 23rd. We have 15,446,000 views. And the first video I showed was from 10 million views and it had earned around 11,000. Then I did an update uh, sorta recently and it was at 22,000. But now we're at $23,785. As you guys can see here, and then we're gonna go to another video that I've covered as well and that is my highest earning video ever and that's what happens if you put brake fluid in the gas tank. Scientific experiment, not. So what you have to understand with YouTube, I mean everyone looks at the views and yes that matters of course. I mean to say that a video has gone viral is definitely off of how many views it's gotten but what YouTube cares about the most is definitely watch time. So this video has 37,892,013 minutes of watch time. That equates to 72 years and 16 days. The video now has 7.1 million views. And the last time we did a video on this, it was 48,000. It currently has earned $52,347 in ad revenue by far my best earning video. I mean, it has less than half the views of the first video we showed, but it's earned more than double. So that comes down to watch time and how long the video is. I'll turn my phone off here. Just so you guys get a bit of an idea. All right, so with the updates out of the way here, let's jump into the lifetime of my channel and see exactly on the cent or the dollar at least, what I've made in YouTube ad revenue from 2014 up to 2019. All right, so we're gonna go to Lifetime, and as you can see, it is uh, indeed my channel. The lifetime of my channel is June 19th, 2014 to September 24th, 2019. I mean, that's what the analytics are showing, and the watch time is the equivalent of <laughs> 1,118 years and 323 days. And the views are 134,241,335. And as you can see here in the beginning, I mean, what is this, my first day? Four views, <laughs> zero views. And then it starts slowly, slowly going up. But th these are the amount of views that I got in the beginning per day. I mean, it wasn't a lot. And you can see this is about the two, first two years 
of views. So, you know, it's the last two years here where, you know, my channel has actually been making any kind of money. So if you look at the, the final number that we're going to show you here, if you break it down uh, into five years or whatever that I've had my channel, a little over five years, um, yeah, I mean, it's the average of five years, but it's really, honestly, the average of like two, two and a half years because it's those years where my channel has actually been earning any kind of revenue. Okay, but let's scroll to the right here. Boom, $427,647.05. And that's, again, during the whole time that I've had my channel. So uh, <laughs> you can see here in the beginning, zero, 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 zero. And then I got my channel monetized in December of 2014. It was actually, I think, around November 2014 that I understood that people could actually make money off of YouTube. I started my channel uh, making quick little walk around of videos because I worked at a Ford dealership called Moon Township Ford and I filmed, you know, used cars quickly to put them on YouTube and hopefully someone could, you know, stumble upon my video and come and buy that car from me. So that was my thought process with starting my YouTube channel. It wasn't really about like, okay, I, I'm, this is going to be my career. I'm going to make car reviews and vlogs. I, like, no, it was just to try to sell more cars. And I'm not going to go into that whole story. I've, I've talked about that before, but it was kind of naive thinking, you know, there was no one that came and bought a car for me at that time, at least because they had seen one of my YouTube videos. But then I, I, I started liking it a lot. So I kept doing it. And then I understood that you can actually monetize your channel and make a couple dollars, you know? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to um, first 365 days. So in the first year of my channel, I made $888. And you can see here for yourself, it took a, a while before I even made anything. And my first day, I made $3.30. And then we're gonna go see last year. And this is simply the ad revenue from YouTube. There's no, you know, other income streams that I have as well. It was $190,841.66. So if we go back to the lifetime here, if we look at the watch time here, so the average watch time for my channel is 4 minutes and 23 seconds. In the beginning when I was making videos, they were like 1 minute long, sometimes less than that. You know, they were usually never longer than two or three minutes. And then I started doing longer and longer videos. And YouTube allows you to put an extra ad in a video if it's longer than 10 minutes. That's why every, pretty much every YouTuber you watch have videos longer than 10 minutes. Because if it's what you do full time, then, you know, it's your livelihood. And you will be making videos that are longer than 10 minutes most of the time. So if we can see here, I mean... The average view time after like a year is four minutes and then it starts going up here. So usually nowadays I average around, you know, six minutes, sometimes seven. It goes down to four. It depends on some of my older videos that were shorter starts getting views again. Like these what happens if videos and stuff. They'll have spurts sometimes and then it just kills the average watch time for the channel because they're short videos. And, you know, they don't have good audience retention. People just want to see what happened and then they click off the video but yes what you came to see is this right here four hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars is what I've made from YouTube in ad revenue during the whole time that I've had my channel so like I said that's the ad revenue I've been planning to do another video that covers the other streams of income that I have now obviously other means of making money for a YouTuber I mean myself included is of course sponsorships I work with companies that I really believe in and I like their product. That's why I promoted movement in probably, I don't know, six, seven videos or something like that. So that's an additional income as well. Now I've just come across a completely different stream of income that pretty much covers the cost of my Ferrari. Well, my truck is now paid off, but the BMW as well. I'm actually, I should say, not anymore paying for my cars with my YouTube ad revenue. So if, if that's a video that you guys would, you know, think is interesting, depending on how well this video does, then I'm definitely gonna uh, upload that. And it'll mainly pertain to other YouTube creators, but as we all know, or most people should know, is that don't keep all your eggs in one basket. Let me know if you would be interested in that as well, and I'll put that video together real quick. 
uh, it might be interesting for a lot of you guys out there. But with that being said, this video is now over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, check out Movement Watches. The link is in the description. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you feel like you want to, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.